so after ages, here's a lighter video. Um, and this is a light drive restored, although it still doesn't work perfectly, it works to a degree at least, unlike when it didn't work at all when I bought it. And from what I can understand from people having a look for me, this is an Italian World War II lighter um, that the soldiers themselves used to engrave. So this side had a playing card engraved on it, and that side has had what looks like FM engraved on it. So maybe that was the initials of the soldier, whoever had it. So basically, this is a bit like a Zippo, it's a liquid fuel lighter, you know, petrol lighter, gasoline lighter, whatever you want to call them. And it's got quite a unique design, so it's got an arm you lift up here, then the flint is stored down this section under a spring, which pushes it next to the wheel here. So what you do is strike the wheel there, you see that's making sparks, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to light all that often, because the wick I've got in there isn't perfect, I might see if I can get a better wick. It does sometimes light. Basically, the restoration job I had to do on this lighter, I had to take all of it apart. There was, firstly, the first problem was the old flint in there had completely disintegrated. So I had to take it apart from both ends there, shove screwdrivers through and everything till I got out all the old flint dust. At that point, I was able to recenter the wheel so it actually struck properly. So you can actually see sparks should be coming off of that. Yeah, even if it doesn't always light, you can at least get sparks coming off of it now. So, you know, essentially, there's a new flint in there and the wheel's recentered so it strikes and makes sparks. The old wick was useless, so what I had to do was take the old wick out entirely and put a zipper wick in, but the issue is that zipper wicks don't actually fit in the hole for this lighter because it's smaller. So what I ended up having to do was cut a zipper wick down to a few centimetres and then use dual screwdrivers to kind of shove it into the hole as best I could. Again, it won't soak up liquid fuel perfectly now, but it's the best I could do because I couldn't find a specific wick that would fit this. Um, at the bottom I had to open it up and shove a lot more cotton wool in there because the issue is with this lighter that when I got it there was barely any cotton sort of material inside so it was a big empty space so the fuel would leak out pretty quickly or just not soak into the wick but there you go, that's the restored lighter if I can't get it to light by striking it in a moment what I will just do is grab another lighter and just light the um, wick that way just so you can see that you know it will work to a degree it's one of those annoying things where I think I've got it to light once on a video and I was showing it in the stream, but it was lighting quite a few times once I'd finished a restoration job. Regardless, it's lovely. I got this for, I think, about £15 on eBay, and that was with the postage included. And the guy just said something like, World War One question mark, trench art lighter, or something like that. Um, a few people, I think it was Peach and Weapon Collector, both had a look into them for me, and they thought it looked the closest to an Italian World War Two lighter. And then you can see lots of those have different engravings on. Now lots of those go for, in restored condition, 70 to 100 pounds. So this is actually worth quite a bit. Now, I said it's a bit unfortunate that since restoring it, I can't seem to get it to light very well on the video. But, you know, it was a good fun task restoring it. So what I'm just going to do is grab another lighter. And see if I can do it with one of these electric lighters. And just show you that hopefully that, you know, the wick and everything should light. So let's get that in frame. Ah, now that's interesting. Because the wick is cindering, I'm wondering if the fuel has evaporated. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just stop the video quickly, and I will refuel it for you on video, and then we can see if we can get it to light, because maybe it's just that, again, the wick's totally dried out. So I might have to look into trying to work out how to do a new wick. That could be a problem. Okay, so you simply unscrew the bottom to get at the um, inner bits of the lighter. And there's an old washer in there as well. I assume that washer's still working because I've not seen any liquid fuel falling underneath it. And yeah, I can't smell the fuel too much. It might be I need to put some better washers on this because maybe the fuel's just evaporating very quickly from it. But what I'm going to do now is just top this up with Zippo fuel. I'll close the arm on the lighter while I refuel it, just so nothing escapes through the wick. But yeah, it's definitely sinking in, so I'm hoping that it maybe just dried out a bit too much. Right, there's a load in there. I'll just wait slightly for the last little bit to drip through. Don't know if you can see that very well on the video, but um, that is going in slowly. Right. Let's put the screw back in. So yeah, 
unless you do it really tightly up with a screwdriver you can obviously just do this by hand but if you do this tighter it might work a bit better with the washer but you can actually just use your thumbnail to get that tight enough there we go but again I might look into restoring that screw in the bottom if that's going to be the main problem now my hands are covered in lighter fluid which is not ideal if you're going to light a lighter but it does look like the wick's a bit more sodden now so hopefully when I can get a spark again because I guess there's um, a bit of lighter liquid now in the uh, flint section. Might be I need to replace the wick again, I said again, but it's one of those annoying things watch kettle never boils. Um, you know, I did have this working, and I'm sure a few people did see it working on the stream initially but now it seems it just doesn't want to play ball but anyway let me just show you using this that you know it should light there we go so um yeah it's a lovely looking lighter again the design on it is not as practical as something like a zippo it, as you've seen it blew out quite easily there but yeah i think i'm gonna have to resort this wick out because i think the wick solution i've done is not ideal um probably with some tweezers I can pull that wick out a bit more but that will be a subject for another day but anyway yeah it's a lovely little lighter hope the people who like lighter videos appreciate this because it is unusual it took me about an hour to fix all the bits in it again if I had to do another one of these I could do it much faster because I'd know exactly which bits I'd have to do on it so yeah it's still a work in progress I think I might have to um, see if I can get a few more sparks coming off that flint wheel and I think mostly resort out the wick and potentially maybe look into putting a new washer under that screw just hopefully so maybe no fuel evaporates from there quickly but otherwise a very nice little old lighter and it's you know lovely to get old lighters like this because they are a bit of a gem